in the high 200s the so many times there's some bad luck but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss there that changes the outcome of the at bat we'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this one tim anderson the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one and it's one and one i got one ball one strike Righty delivers. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Next is the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. He's going. Anderson runs. And first offering is fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's in there, and a count is 0-2. Throw over to first. Anderson back easily. down looking well I think that's a case of overthinking right there he got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back and now it's Luis Robert in there and it's 0-1 0-1 Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Aloy Jimenez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. Aye. That one out to right. Bet settles underneath it. He's got it. And that's the third out. The White Sox leave one. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. Back after this on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And today's starting pitcher, Dylan Cease. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earn run average. Mookie Betts stands in here, takes ball one low. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Got him. One away. 
Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. That it's guy. hard to bring that the to a halt base. once you've committed. Freddy. He tried to check the swing, Freeman. just couldn't do it. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that one just oh, misses a ball and no strikes. And the pitch. Gets the outside corner with that one. One and one. Swings through that. One Clearly ball. he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home that first two good. away. The catcher. The catcher. Well. The batter now will be Will Smith. That oh. misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Two down, nobody on. That clips the corner. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. That's in there. One and two. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. No score. Top of the second, here's some real power at the plate. The Jake Berger. Jake Berger. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That's through there for a strike. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. That is it. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Andrew Vaughn now. And that's in there for strike one. Slider misses outside. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Swings through that one, one for strike two. two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great the o2 gets a piece and stays alive burger leads off first with one away Next one just oh, misses. One and two to count. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. 
Low throw, and he can't dig it out. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. One out and a runner at second. Next one misses, and that's ball three. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Batting it. The right fielder, number five, Jackson. Now it's the right fielder, Jackson Frazier. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. In there for strike one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Outman drifts towards it and that's the inning. A hit and an error in the inning, but they fail to score. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in L.A., bottom of the second. Here come the Dodgers. No score. Here's Jason Hayward. Hayward. The wind and the pitch. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Well, a good first pitch change up there. In order to be effective, you've got to really sell it. Good arm speed, and it's got to be down in the zone. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at-bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but of course that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. David Peralta at the plate. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. Second inning here, no score. Good eye right there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The next offering misses, and a count two and one. Now fly ball to right center. Frazier on the move to the alley. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Batting six. six. The second, the second baseman. baseman. Miguel. And up next for Los Angeles, Whoa, Miguel yeah. Vargas. That one's in there, 0-1. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The oh, next one. pitch misses. Going to count one and one two. Ball. Really two nice three. slider right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. That's two balls, two. two strikes to count with two outs. Hey. Got him looking for the K. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing.
Back here at Chavez Ravine, top half of the third inning. Here's the veteran second baseman, Elvis Andrews. Andrews hitting ninth in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. That one the other way. He steps on the bag and one away in the top of the third. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Tim Anderson. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Tim Anderson now at the plate. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, digging for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. One out, runner at second. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there, and it's 0-1. The 0-1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. And that one hammered Betts. Going back, back some more, looking up, and it's off the wall. In comes the first run of the game as the White Sox take the lead. And in its second with an now RBI now double. The center fielder, Luis Robert now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Get the strikeout. Pitch misses Go inside. Ahead, One and oh. Right-hander right -hander kicks deals. That Good one ball. missed. No Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And it is 2-1. Sheets, the runner at second with one away. Next Ball, offering guy. upstairs. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. On, and he walked him. That's ball four. Take your base. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now batting. Now batting. Left left First and second, Aloy. one out. And next Jimenez. to him for the Sox, Aloy Jimenez. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And the right-hander deals. That's ripped into the outfield. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all no, over no. it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and yeah. right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. So up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Fouled off. He was late. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up.
Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the White Sox one, and the Dodgers nothing. As we go Leading to the last of the, the third. Line. And now here's the, the speed threat. Three. Outfielder Yay. James Outman. Outman. The right-hander back to work. Ball, Ball one, no out. strikes. Just Ball off the outside the edge. And now two and one. There are very few counts in today's game where you can just full on expect a fastball. I mean, even 2 0. Perfect example right there. Foul ball there. 2 2 now. Stays alive. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch no, out when they're on the mound because right, right. if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Chris Taylor now. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. I got a ball, one strike. In the air, right field. That'll drop in. Plays it on a hop. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. One down. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. You'll one. Chopper right side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. The 0 2. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Got him. Two out. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Betts in the box one, now no as side. he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. And the 1 0 misses low. Next nope. pitch downstairs. Ball three. Freddie Freeman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. That one finds the zone. And now three balls. And a strike. Good plate That's appearance outside. there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. 
this guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Two left on. On to inning number four. It's the White Sox one, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn. The why to kick the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Next oh, offering Lord. misses, and the count is one, one and ball, one. one strike. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses, and one gone. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and zero. And a foul ball. The pitch. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Snuck the fastball by him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the, the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Frazier stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And fouled off. So now one and two. One ball. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. So they go quietly there. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the White Sox one and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back. Bottom four and up to the plate is Will Smith. Will Smith. The pitch. And the slider just misses. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Falling behind 2-1. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one hops against the fence. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
Now it's going to be Jason Hayward. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First offering, and it just misses. Man, it's second. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. One strike. Runner at second, nobody out. And now it's even up. Fly ball, center field. Robert hustling after it. He boots it, heading for the plate. He'll score, and they've tied it. It's 1-1. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. And the righty deals. That misses. One ball, one strike. And another ball. The 2 1. Too high. Miguel Vargas up next for the Dodgers. Nobody out. Runner at first. Left hand batter waits. In the air out towards right center. Robert hustling after it. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Around third. He'll score easily. And a 2-1 ball game now. Well, that's a big swing of the bat, driving in the run with the two-bagger. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And the batter now, Miguel Vargas. Swings through that oh, one, 0-1. Oh, and, one. and here it comes. That oh. misses, one and one. No outs, runner on second. Next offering is down low. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. The center fielder, number 33, Here's a speed threat, James Outman. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That's nope. off the ball mark, one. and that is ball one. The pitch. That's a ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that's too high. 
Three balls. No, no outs. Runners at first and third. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. A three-run homer. Home run number 10 of the year. And they add to their lead. It's 5-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and fires. That's in there. And it's one and one. One and one. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. And a one, two. And ball now two. two and two. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Got him looking for the strikeout. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And a strike on the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. That one pushed foul. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. And that one hit to first. And he takes it He's himself out. for the out. Now batting. Right, right, right fielder. fielder. Mookie. Mookie. Best. Best. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. First pitch, just misses. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Tanner Banks, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Middleton getting cranked up as well. And a foul ball. That one misses in the dirt. Two balls, one strike. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. But not before five crossed the plate. With a big blow being this three-run homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. Here's Elvis Andrews. The second base is Elvis Andrews. Grove back to work. That's in for a strike at 95. Going one. Base knock center field. Now.
now batting. Shortstop. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So the lineup flips over. Tim Anderson digs in now. There's a strike. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner holds. Here's a one two. Got it by him for the K. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Yeah, Tried to sit in between. Just not able to yeah, put yeah, the bat yeah. on the ball. Sheets. Man at first. And next is the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. Not One even close there. And that's ball one. That one rip, but foul. And a pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Back there. And gone! Gavin Sheets goes deep. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 5-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And now, Luis Robert. First nope, pitch, and he just misses. Righty to the plate. And yeah, there's a ball. Grove. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming now off the bat. Out. Didn't get Come enough air here. under to drive oh, it out of here, but you'll take that there. swing and that result every time. Eloy Jimenez now. Now a screamer into the outfield. Betts puts it away. Rounder tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. The bat, the, bat. the third baseman, Jake Berger. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for two. Ball one. Counts one and oh. Two outs with a runner at third. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Makes a nice running catch. That is the inning. White Sox draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. It's now a 5-3 ball game. 
Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And the right-hander back to work. Slapped foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. That's and that's down and away. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Kicks and deals. That's a laser base hit. With that fastball, even though it's oh, high velocity, man. you've got to live on the outer edges. Where? When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, yeah. professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Look out! And it hit him. I think that was a slider there, but he just didn't stay on top and release it out front. Kind of popped out of his hand and... Just never did anything. Hey, New pitcher on now, Tanner Banks. He's been so good against lefties. For the White Sox. Number 57. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Ball. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. That Two misses one. the zone. Two balls and a strike. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away. Got him out on the front foot. Now Couldn't back. keep the hands back long oh, enough, and... Played right into the hands of the pitcher. So digging in, David Peralta. That one's in there. Strike one. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. On the ground, a short could be two. Slings it across, oh. and there's two away. Now that second baseman. Miguel. Now at the plate, Miguel oh, Vargas. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. First That's offering out. misses the mark. Aye. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. Second and third, two down. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Dodgers strand a couple. And it remains 5-3. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Leading off, Andrew Vaughn. Grove back to work. And ball one. 
Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Caleb Ferguson is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Vesia warming up as well. The 1-0. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Good eye right there. Two, two the count. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I now mean, finding out. all the, the holes catch. in his swing and his it's approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Yasmani Grandal steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a foul ball. Grandal measures six feet, two inches. 34-year-old vet, and he was born in Cuba. The 0-1. Next offering is outside. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. That one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no strike. panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And that's ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running the short, white starting white to show ball. some signs of fatigue. Yeah, so is. we'll see how much longer they let him go. And now it's going to be Jackson Frazier. And first offering is fouled off. Hit weakly on the ground. Grabs it barehanded. The throw, but no chance. That's an infield single. Definitely a costly throwing error right there. And because it ended up out of play, the runners move up to second and third. So now they have to contend with the pair of runners in scoring positions. So... On the mound, you just have to try to minimize the damage. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Michael Grove out of the game and not his finest start. Never really looked comfortable out there. We'll have on the mound when we get, wait, wait, get back. Number 73 into the game. And a tall Number task ahead of him right here with two runners in scoring position Robert and multiple there. outs to get. He's going to be pitching for strikeouts here, no question. Elvis Andrews will hit next. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. That's First pitch doesn't find the zone. Second and third here. One away. Line drive caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the shortstop, Tim Anderson. That's in for a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. They say it went. Oh, and two.
The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one down the line, and it's just foul. That was close. Right handed reliever. Tim Anderson rips one, and that's a base hit. Runner from third into score, and now they trail by one. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. And now Gavin Sheets. That one ran inside, almost got him. Check swing went around and it's one and one. And a pitch. And a base hit on a line. Runner from third comes across. It's 5 5. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. First and second, two outs. Stepping in the long ball threat, Luis Robert. Pitch misses oh, inside, one and oh. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. And there's a foul ball. Strike two. Definitely got One the ball. hitter conscious two of strike. the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That's the third. Taylor whips it across. Wow. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They get two and draw even again. Seven, eight, nine due up in the home half of the inning. We're all tied up. Five, five. Back here at Chavez Ravine, bottom of the six. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Outman. The wind and the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Banks, a 6-1 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. In the air, left side. Jimenez has it sized up and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Now, now batting, third, third baseman. baseman. Chris, Chris Taylor, Taylor steps to the plate for Taylor. the Dodgers. Nope. And there's a ball. And now two and nothing. He swings and fouls one off. The two one. Hard hit left side. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly two away. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Miguel. And next for L.A., Miguel Rojas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Upstairs. 2-0.
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Base hit, center field. Now batting, the right fielder. Here's Mookie now. Best. First offering and it just misses. Betts, in his ninth season, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he won the Silver Slugger at his position in the National League last year. Betts started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he won a round. Ruled a swing. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now back, back against the wall with two strikes but found a way. Nice line drive to the ball side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. At the play, Freddie Freeman. Swung on, belted. Robert raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Dodgers strand a couple. Our score holds at five apiece. New inning getting started. Now here is Aloy Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Ball one there. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. And up next for now Chicago, right Jake the Berger, one for three. He's a big, Berger. strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Hey. And that one clips the corner. Started after it, appeal to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. The next one, one. offering misses, and the count is one, one and ball, two. Two strikes. And that one two missing balls, low. Two strikes. Hey. Struck him out looking. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. And next to hit for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. And delivers outside. And the 1 0. And that one sliced foul. Two down, nobody on. Off the mark two. there. Two balls and a strike. Just missed. At this point in the game, you three cannot balls, issue free strike. passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. 3-1, and he three couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, Come knowing that. that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that it's pitch because you it's still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Towards first. He takes it on his own. Third out. 
No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. We're all tied up 5-5. Back here in Where L.A., go, bottom of the seventh, the and at the plate for the, the Dodgers, catcher. Will Smith. Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next pitch well, misses a outside, and that's ball two. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And now the lefty. That one missing inside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. Back there. And that one is going to go. So he blasts one out the other way, his 11th of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 6-5. When a hitter's in a 3-1 count, he's going to force that pitcher to come to him, throw him something that he can handle. Well. Right there, he got a pitch that he could handle, and he made him pay for it. White Sox going with a new arm, Garrett Crochet. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now pitching for Chicago, number 45, Garrett Crochet. Now here is Jason Hayward. And that's in there for strike one. Swings through that oh, one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next pitch oh, is outside. Out now one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Hayward checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Got him. Larry Bullard rings him up. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely okay. an individual no, no. performance you no want to flush. Here. He just hasn't looked yeah, very yeah. comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Next to hit, David Inside, Peralta. First offering misses the mark. There's a strike at the knees. Bullpen activity starting up now. Gregory Santos, the young right-hander, up and throwing. And that one is lifted in the air. Robert on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Up next to the Dodgers. The second baseman. Miguel. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Just off the outside part of the plate. Next oh, offering upstairs. Up. And That's another ball. ball. Three balls, one strike. And he walked nope. him. That's ball four. 
One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have That's a very Andrew. aggressive Number secondary three. lead. So a ball down the line yeah. or into the gap will produce yeah. a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Out and in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. The Whoa. next pitch misses and the count is one and one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next one nope. misses, Outside. and it's two and one. Two outs. Ball, that's upstairs. Swing, and a ball popped up, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Baseman, number three. Chris. And up next for Los Taylor. Angeles, Chris Taylor. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Fought off foul. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Ball to strike. The pitch. Nope. Outside. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double as a run scores. Well, everyone is thinking, Ed, would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but... They do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. In there for strike one. Two on, two outs. Foul ball. The pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. A couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Dodgers seven and the White Sox five. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Evan Phillips. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. Number 59, Evan. And now here is Jackson Frazier. Leading off on the White Sox. The right fielder, number five, Jackson Frazier. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Kyle Pacheco looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Here's your one. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. 
just not able to square it up. He goes down looking. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Elvis Andrews, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. And that one oh, just out. missed off the outside edge. Ball and three. downstairs. Hey. Pitch is in there. Three and one. And the righty deals. And a foul ball left side. Here comes a 3-2. Good job to fight that one off. Righty delivers. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Keep him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Anderson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Ball Next one. pitch misses. Now one and two. Good eye right Whoa, there. Next offering okay. misses down and away. Gavin Sheets in the on-deck circle for the White Sox. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Offense held in check there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers seven and the White Sox five. New pitcher for the White Sox, Gregory Santos. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Here's Mookie now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate yeah. professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ground ball, oh, left side, ball. and it goes just foul. All in one now. Ball, that's Activity out. in the bullpen. Kendall Graveman getting loose out there. And the right-hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Right. 
Santos checks over to first and he's back. Right hander kicks deals and a ball evens the count. Caught him looking for the K. Now got it. Catch it. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered in this game. Bounce to the left side and foul ball. The pitch. Late swing, fouled off. That's Next offering misses. Going to count one and two. One ball. And that's two awfully strike. close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just now caught the out. zone. So as a that's hitter, a you have hitter. to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Hayward in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That oh. misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Good eye right Thank there. So now no, two four, on four. and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner into scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's the left fielder, David Peralta. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. The 1-0. Nope. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. First and second, two down. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Next offering is downstairs. Miguel Vargas waiting to bat for the Dodgers. On the ground, right side. In time to Vaughn. Inning over. So they strand a pair. Through eight full, it's the Dodgers seven and the White Sox five. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Kyle Pacheco. A chance at his You're first save leader. of the year. Now pitching for the Dodgers. And now Gavin Number Sheets. 52. He's already Kyle. homered here in this one. Pacheco. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Here comes a pitch. Outside, Pacheco, 6-1 righty, only 20 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. And that one wrapped foul. The why to kick the pitch. There's a strike. And 
And the one two misses to even the count. Two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Leading off on the White Sox. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. And things could change quickly here with one swing. there and it's 0-1. We only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And here it comes. That hey. one finds the zone. That is strike two. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. That's off the mark. It's a ball and two strikes. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kicks and deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Aloy Jimenez. That's in there. That's strike one. Oh, and one. The tying run at the plate. Line to right, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The bat. The, the third base. base. Substitution now at second base. Here's the White Sox pinch runner, Romy Gonzalez. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. Romy Gonzalez. Just missed. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And misses nope. inside. inside. There's a strike, and it's two and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Right-handed reliever goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Making a move at first, on to pinch run, Zach Remillard. Number 28. So two down now, and here is Andrew Vaughn. And first offering is fouled off.
Ground ball right side. Diving! And he can't make the play. Byers to the plate. The tag. And he's safe. And they trail by one. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Caleb Ferguson. He last pitched two days ago. Number 64, Caleb Ferguson. Stepping in, Yasmani Grandal. Trying to deliver as the hero. First pitch, just misses. Check swing, appeal to first, and he won around just enough that time. The pitch. Aye. And now one strike away. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, the right and he hit him. These types of mistakes usually turn out to be costly this late in the ball game. Things can really slip away in a hurry. That hey. one's in there, 0-1. One. Oh, one's the count. Now a one and a one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Movement in the bullpen. Yancy Almonte looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. And now the lefty. And a count one and two. Just one strike away. Lifted in the air, out to left. Peralta settles underneath it. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers strand the go-ahead run to hold on for the win. You can still feel the energy in this ballpark. What a great finish. Everyone on their feet looking for that pitcher to get the final out. They strand the tying run at third. The go-ahead run was at second base. A lot of pressure, but they were able to pull it out. Nice W. One-run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.